The entire world is in pandemic. COVID-19 coronavirus. The COVID-19 virus. President Duterte imposes localized community quarantine during the start of the quarantine. Panic buying. Avoid panic buying. Panic buying empties many shelves across the country until state of calamity sa buong bansa. Si Pangulong Duterte. Two and a half million Filipinos have already lost their jobs since the lockdown began. So the government and businesses around the world encourage adopt remote working technologies to work from home. Now, the Department of Education also declared face-to-face -face classes will be postponed until a COVID-19 vaccine is available. So we need computers or laptops to go through to this crisis. And most of us has financial difficulties so we went to the cheapest products that we can use like computers or laptops and the cheapest that i found in the market right now are intel for to do can this help us with our needs luckily i have one let's test this This is an Intel Core 2 Duo E7300. It is a dual core CPU with a clock speed of 2.66 MHz and it has a 65 watt TDP which is typical to a modern CPU. It was released in 2008 and it is on LGA Socket 775 and it has no integrated graphics. Now, I make sure that the configuration in this system is close to the configuration found in the market. I use Asus P5KPL-AMSE motherboard with a DDR2 socket and a two sticks of 2GB 800MHz DDR2 RAM and a Hitachi 120GB mechanical hard drive that I salvaged from a broken laptop. The original cooler of this CPU is already broken. I managed to replace it with a good cooler from an old pre-built Acer PC. I use a cheap 650 watt generic power supply. Even though Corto Duo systems in the market uses an onboard graphics, I felt like adding an old GeForce 8400GS graphics card will make the system run better. This card has 16 CUDA cores, 256 MB of VRAM. This is a very cheap graphics card. It only costs around 500 pesos in the used market. I already installed Windows 10 and Microsoft Office 2016 in this system. The installation are slow and after all the updates that the Windows does, the system runs a little bit smooth. And in navigating folders and opening programs, it felt a little lag. I also tried to play a movie, it's low in opening and when I try to forward it, it frees so i tried using vlc player because it's more optimized compared to windows media player when i open the video it's low but when the movie plays it runs better even forwarding it and in opening word excel and powerpoint on the first time opening it is very slow but when you close and reopen it it will open a little bit faster and when you're typing the letters have delays on appearing on the screen even on Excel and PowerPoint maybe due to the mechanical hard drive that I'm using 
as a system drive. Mechanical hard drives or hard disk drives are slow because a fast 7200 RPM hard drive has a 80 to 160 megabytes per second read and write speed and this hard drive that I use is only at 5400 RPM a normal hard drive on those core to duos in the market but all in all it was still usable as an office PC if you have patience now let's replace the hard drive with an SSD and a more powerful graphics card to test some games this is a cheap 64 gigs SSD from Golden Fur. It has a write and read speeds of 470 to 580 megabytes per second and 400 to 530 megabytes per second respectively. And a GTX 660 from the previous build and 500 gigs of game storage hard drive from my other system. Before we test some games, since I put an SSD in the system, I have to check the performance first. I observed that the booting time is faster also in navigating and opening programs like Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint compared to using hard disk drive. In playing movies, it runs better and smoother whether using Windows Media Player or VLC. However, there are still manageable slowness in loading programs. Moreover, in typing in Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, there are no more appearing delays of the letters. By this, I can say it is an office PC. And now, let's test some games. Took a swing at a wrecking ball and I prayed for my downfall and I found a way to reconcile Cause in my heart it's not worthwhile It's a bloody battlefield where sun go down on the sea In the end it's all the same All you can do is play the game We already tested the performance of this Core to Duo CPU. As you can see, it can still run Windows 10, Microsoft Office applications, uh, Google Chrome, and Microsoft Edge, play some movies, and even play some low spec games. Now, this CPU is still usable, but I prepare it as an office PC, not for gaming. When I test this on games with low system requirements, the FPS are low and the gaming experience is not that good at all. I end up frustrated. 
So, if you ask me why, because gaming on Core 2 Quad is way more better compared gaming to this system. Honestly, I do not recommend you to buy this kind of system because of its performance. For me, you are just limited to office works. But, if you have one lying around, I recommend you to use it as your second PC or for your kids, especially right now, the situation that face-to-face -face education is still not allowed. But if you really need a PC badly and you need a monitor, keyboard, mouse, and your budget is 5,000 and below, well, go for it. Just have an SSD, even those cheap ones, and have four gigs of RAM to run Windows 10. And also use Windows 10 to avoid complication in newer apps. Normally, this this kind of system runs on Windows 7 and Windows 7 doesn't have support from Microsoft anymore so there's a big possibility that newer apps will not run or installed anymore before I end this video I would like to mention Tansio and Pedro for giving me some ideas about this content and also shout out kay Bossing RB and Jiprox. So, okay na. So, if you like this content, please make sure that you click the like button below. And if you haven't subscribed, please also click that red subscribe button and the bell icon to notify you on my next video.